In this video, we're going to solve linear absolute value equations, but before we solve some equations, let us first recall the definition of absolute value. So absolute value of a number x is equal to the number inside the absolute value bars if x is greater than or equal to zero, and it's equal to the negative of the number inside if the number is less than zero. So absolute value of 10 is equal to 10, and absolute value of negative 5 since that is a negative number it is equal to the negative of negative 5 which is equal to positive 5 so take note that absolute value of any number is always greater than or equal to 0 geometrically absolute value gives you the distance of the number from the origin or from 0 on the real line so if B is positive this distance here is the absolute value of b so if b is equal to 5 we know that the distance of that number from this 0 is equal to 5. if a is negative like negative 3 then the distance of negative 3 from the origin or 0 is 3 units to the left of the origin so that distance 3 units is the absolute value of negative 3. So when we solve equations with absolute value, the first step is always to write it in this form. We isolate the absolute value on one side of the equation. And we study, for example, the right-hand side of the equation. So if it is just a constant and you know that the constant is less than zero, then we are sure that this equation has no solutions because absolute value of any number is always greater than or equal to zero. So it will never be negative. So if k is less than zero, for sure, this has no solutions. But if k is greater than or equal to 0, then this equation is equivalent to the following equations without absolute values. So either p is equal to k or p is equal to the negative of this constant k. So for example, if absolute value of p is equal to 5, then that means that p is either 5 or negative 5. So actually here, when k is equal to 0, these two equations are the same. So 0 and negative of 0 are both equal to 0. So when you solve this absolute value e equation where the right-hand side is equal to 0, you just solve this equation p equals 0. Let us now solve some equations. So let's consider this first equation, absolute value of 6x plus 1 plus 5 equal to 7. So the first step is to move the 5 to the right-hand side of the equation or subtracting 5 both sides of this equation. And we'll get absolute value of 6x plus 1 equal to positive 2. So we need to isolate first the absolute value expression. Now, do you think there are numbers whose absolute value is equal to positive 2? So number whose absolute value is positive 2. Yes, again, absolute value is distance from the origin or from 0. And there are two numbers whose distance from the origin is equal to 2. What are those numbers? The number is, one number is positive 2. And the other number is negative 2. So in this case, as you can see, if this number inside is positive 2, then its absolute value is positive 2. And also, if the number inside is negative 2, absolute value of negative 2, it's also equal to positive 2. So this, uh, to, uh, this equation here, absolute value equation, is equivalent to to these uh, two equations. Now we solve these two equations separately. So we have here 6x equal to 1 and then we divide both sides by 6. We'll get x equal to 1 over 6. And the second equation, so again we subtract 1 from both sides of these, these equations, we'll get negative uh, 3 on the right hand side and divide both sides by 6, we'll get x equal to negative 1 half. So our solution set, which is the set of all solutions, 
solution set usually denoted by SS okay is the set containing these uh, two solutions so you have here negative one half and positive one over six now let us consider these two equations let's start with this uh, first absolute value equation so again the first step here is to move this uh, term to the right hand side of the equation but again don't forget to change the sign of the term okay when you move a term from one side of the equation to the other side so this gives you absolute value of 6x plus 1 equal to 4 minus 5 which is of course equal to negative 1 so we have absolute value of 6x plus 1 equal to negative 1 now we know that absolute value of any number is always greater than or equal to 0 okay so this absolute value here on the left hand side will never be equal to negative one so therefore what is our, our our answer for this problem we have no solutions so therefore no solutions and we may write our solution set here as a set containing nothing it's an empty set so another way to denote an empty set is using this symbol so for the second absolute value of equation so again we first isolate the absolute value expression so we have here negative of absolute value of 1 minus 4x okay equal to 5 minus a 3 so that is uh, positive 2 and then again we multiply negative 1 both sides so we have absolute value of 1 minus 4x equal to negative 2 so again here right hand side is a negative number so it's impossible for this left hand side to be a negative number because it is always greater than or equal to zero so same as in the in this uh, first uh, equation the answer is no solutions okay so we write our solution set as empty set or this using this uh, symbol next problem so let's consider this equation again the first step here is to subtract 9 from both sides of this equation and we'll get here absolute value of 3 minus 4x all over 7 equal to 0 now what is that number whose absolute value is equal to 0 there's only one number whose absolute value is equal to 0 that is 0 so the number inside of the absolute value bars must be equal to zero so now this is equal to zero if the numerator is equal to zero so you can also get that expression when we multiply both sides by seven we'll get here a three minus four x equal to zero we'll get negative four x equal to negative three and we divide both sides by negative four we'll get x which is equal to 3 over 4 so therefore our solution set it's the set containing this single solution set containing a 3 fourths moving to our next equation so here again the first step is to isolate the absolute value equation so we can do that by adding 16 to both sides of this equation we'll get absolute value 4x plus 7 all over 5 equal to negative 15 plus 16 so that is positive 1 now what are the numbers whose absolute value is equal to 1 so we have two numbers whose absolute value is 1 so either positive 1 or negative 1 so that means that the number inside 4x plus 7 over 5 is either equal to 1 or equal to negative one so this is over five equal to negative one and now we solve these uh, two equations separately so again here if you want to get rid of the denominator we multiply both sides by the lcd same thing as cross multiplication here so we'll get here 4x plus 7 multiplying five both sides we'll get 4x plus 7 equal to 5 and then subtracting 7 from both sides will get negative 2 dividing both sides by 4 will get x which is equal to negative one half 
now we solve this second equation so we also multiply both sides by 5 we'll get 4x plus 7 equal to negative 5 and then move the 7 to the right hand side of the equation it becomes negative 7 so you have here negative 5 minus 7 so that is negative 12 and then dividing both sides by 4 we'll get x equal to negative 3 so therefore our solution set is this set containing negative 3 and negative 1 half. Let us now consider this equation, which is a little bit different from the previous equations. Because in this case, the right-hand side is not a constant. So how do we solve such an equation? So we know from the previous problems that if the right-hand side is negative, the equation has no solution. But if the right-hand side is greater than or equal to 0, this equation is equivalent to these two equations. So this is like you think of this as your k. Then if this is greater than or equal to 0, then it's equivalent to this expression equal to k or this expression equal to negative of k. So negative of the right-hand side. So we solve these two equations here, but we're going to consider only solutions that satisfy this condition, 3x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. So if we're going to solve these uh, two equations here, we'll get negative 5x equal to negative 1 minus 5, so that is negative 6, we'll get x equal to Dividing both sides by negative 5, we'll get x equal to 6 over 5. And here we have 5 minus 2x equal to negative 3x plus 1. So this gives us x equal to 1 minus 5. So that is equal to negative 4. Now, are both of these solutions, if we look at this one, when x is equal to 6 over 5, the value of this uh, 3 times x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, this is a solution. Now, if x is equal to negative 4, the value of this uh, 3x minus 1 here is not greater than or equal to 0. It is actually less than 0. 3 times negative 4 minus 1, that is negative 13. So we know that this equation has no solution. So the only value of x that is a solution to the original equation is x equal to 6 over 5. So our solution set here is the set containing this number, 6 over 5. Moving to our last problem, so what if we're given an equation that involves two absolute values, like this equation? So in solving such a problem, just keep in mind that absolute value of A is equal to absolute value of B is equivalent to, in this case, this is equivalent to uh, two equations, A equal to B or A is equal to negative b. So in this case, we're going to obtain uh, two equations, and those equations are x minus 4 equal to either both of the expressions are equal, or one is just negative of the other. So in this case, x minus 4 equal to negative of the quantity 3x plus 14. Does it make sense? Yes, because it's like if this expression here, x minus 4, it's like 5, and this is equal to negative 5, then their absolute value will still be the same, which is equal to positive 5. And of course, if they are equal, then they have also the same absolute value. So now we solve these uh, two equations separately. So here we have negative uh, 2x equal to 14 plus 4, so that is 18. And dividing both sides by negative 2, we'll get x equal to negative 9. The second equation, so x minus 4 equal to 
So we distribute the negative sign here, negative 3x minus 14. And then we move the negative 3x to the left-hand side. It becomes plus a 3x, so x plus a 3x is 4x. And we move the negative 4 to the right-hand side, so it becomes negative 14 plus 4. So that is negative 10. Dividing both sides by 4, we'll get x equal to negative 5 halves, canceling the common factor 2. So therefore, our solution set is the set containing these two numbers, so negative 9 and negative 5 halves.